Is that fully cooked? Today, I am eating at Golden Corral for 24 hours. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now, if you haven't heard of Golden Corral, it's basically an all-American buffet. I have done one mukbang there. I did it last year, but it was just one meal. And I tried little bites of everything, but I didn't truly enjoy it because I didn't eat like a real meal there. So I'm so hyped to try all the food slowly throughout the day. I'm gonna pace myself. <laughs> I am gonna go to three different Golden Corrals today just to see the vibe of each one to see if they taste any different. So I have three chances to win a trip to Ria Town. Love that for me <laughs> and I am gonna be filming these mukbangs in public like inside of the restaurant because it's a buffet and that always stresses me out just a little bit because if people always there but it's fine I don't mind an audience I can be the cow in the corral that is a performer I don't mind so it's 9 57 a.m. they open at 10 a.m. I'm hoping they have some breakfast options so I can have like a full-on breakfast but even if they don't I'll just eat normal food I don't mind I'm not a snob okay I don't need huevos but before we go in, guys, give this video a big thumbs up if you're enjoying it. It's the easiest way to support little old me and my dainty self and my whole career. This is my career. Also, subscribe if you're new here. I make restaurant content, theme park content, hotel content. By the way, I just launched memberships on my channel, girlies. Some of the perks are early access to videos, conversations with me in the comment section, shout outs in my actual videos. So click the join button or go to the link below if you're interested, okay? Okay, let's go in. Why am I nervous? <laughs> <laughs> it's just the filming aspect. It's okay. Okay, guys, so this is Golden Corral, and I just noticed the sign that says serving breakfast daily. Oh my god. I love that for me. Oh my god, look at this sign here, guys. Breakfast buffet. They want you to know they have eggs and bacon. So this is the area where you wait in line, but there was no line. I was the first one there because I'm a perg. And basically, you just go up to the counter and you say, I want one breakfast buffet, please. But you and the employee both know that you're about to devour 10 servings, girly. So this is the area with all the food. It's basically like the living room of the Golden Corral. Actually... It would be the kitchen. It has the food. What am I talking about? They have so many options. They especially had so many desserts, guys. Look at all this. Blueberry pie, rice, crispy, buttery, flaky, crisp treats, cookies. Just endless sweets. Is this Golden Corral or is this Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory? We'll never know. And the desserts are continuing. There were a lot of cakes and this one looked like a unicorn burped on it. Cupcakes, brownies. God, I, I just wouldn't stop filming the desserts. <laughs> there were so many. Oh, and that bread pudding, guys. Stay tuned for that bread pudding. Now here's some of the salty foods to make your sodium levels burst with excitement, queen. We got fried chicken. We got pizza. We got, wait, what else? Hold on. We got burgers. We got fries. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so masked. We got beans and rice, chips, queso, broccoli. Who wants the broccoli? No one. Baked potatoes, baked sweet potatoes, rolls, all these different things, but guess what? I was on a quest for breakfast items because it is breakfast time. So wait, we're almost there. We're getting there. Hold on, there's some sliced ham. Where's the breakfast? Come on, Timmy, cut to it. Okay, there it is. Okay, so there's the scrambled eggs, the bacon, the sausage, the pancakes, the biscuits and gravy, and then some random fish on the side. Ursula, go away. Okay, so for breakfast, I got two. Bottom of pancakes queen with syrup. It's a very liquidy syrup, but it's fine. And then I got a biscuit and a gravy. Once again, very liquidy gravy. This is a very milky cow, but the biscuit looks big and fluffy. And then I got some scrambled eggs. They are all in one chunk. So that's exciting. And then I got some bacon and a piece of sausage. This is a full breakfast, guys. I'm so hyped. You need the green? Diet Coke? Diet Coke. I'll be back. Thank you so much. This place is empty and that makes me so happy because I feel so much freer when I'm filming and the place is empty. Love that for me. Thank you so much. You're welcome, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so, she's so nice. Let's first try the bacon. It looks so incredibly crispy. Look at that. I love slightly overcooked crispy, crispy bacon. So let's extend it, huh. Okay. Okay, Pip. Mm. Mm. It was salty though. No, crunch. I did not expect such delicious, high quality, flavorful bacon from a Golden Corral. I did not. It is very salty bacon, but it tastes like any good bacon like from the store or from any other restaurant. The fact that this bacon is so good and is part of an all-you-can-eat buffet, and usually buffets do not have the highest quality foods, I'm impressed. Mmm, it's barely greasy. All the grease got cooked out of it, dried out. I'm gonna give the bacon a nice strong nine out of 10. Very good. Let's try the scrambled eggs. So like I said, it's all in one big piece. <laughs> it's a whole scrambled chicken coop. Let's take a chunk off and try it. Okay. Hello. You know, 
I've had much worse scrambled eggs. I expected pure powdered scrambled eggs, and these might be powdered, but they taste good. They have a buttery flavor. They're not overcooked. They're creamy. They're not rubbery. Last time that I mentioned powdered eggs, I got some comments saying, Timmy, what is a powdered egg? It's literally egg that comes in the form of powder. And then you add water and it becomes egg again. And I know this because when I was six and we thought that Y2K was like going to happen in the year 2000, one of our friends gave us a bucket of powdered <laughs> Not the bucket. A bucket of powdered eggs to live on in case if the world went to the gutter, you know? Anyways, I'm gonna give these eggs a nice strong 7 out of 10, a lot better than I expected. I ate most of them already. Let's try the sausage. It looks oddly flat. Like, I feel like there there's no texture to it. So that's interesting. Let's see. Mmm. 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 So this is the texture on the inside. Is that fully cooked? Oh, it's a little pink to me. Okay, now I'm scared, but it's delicious, to be honest. At first I was like, where's the flavor? But then after I chewed for like a second, the flavor kicked in. It has that classic breakfast sausage flavor. Not too sweet, but it's really tangy. It tastes like it has a lot of seasonings in it. It just takes a second to approach the taste bud and say, hey girl, you wanna taste the flavor queen? I think that the outside could be crispier, but once again, for a buffet, I'm impressed with the sausage. I think it's pretty good sausage. I'm gonna give it a nice strong seven out of 10. Let's try the biscuit and gravy. Like I said, the gravy looked real watery, but it might taste amazing. We'll see. People say that I use, use my fork like a caveman. I mean, guess what? That's how I was raised <laughs> in a cave. But for real, like, I just don't care anymore, okay? I'm just gonna use my fork how it naturally comes to me. This is not right, Britain. I'm not dining with the queen. I'm at Golden Corral. I'm dining with the corrals. Mm. Gotta say the biscuit is that girl. It is extremely fluffy and it has an amazing buttery flavor. So good. Thank you so much. Mm. The biscuit's also slightly sweet and it's slightly reminding me of an animal cracker. <laughs> that was loud. I'm sorry. And that might sound nasty, but it works. I mean, the theme is animal. We're in a corral. Now the gravy, to be honest, doesn't have much flavor. It just tastes milky, but it's moistening the biscuit enough to serve the biscuits and gravy vibe. I asked him the biscuit ate. Biscuits and gravy, I'm gonna have to give it a five out of 10 because the biscuit was amazing, but the gravy was just milky. So it's right there in the middle, you know? Let's try the pancakes. They look thick and fluffy. We love that. This is the texture on the inside. Okay, looks great. I got the shivers. Okay, I'm just gonna... I thought the pancakes were like the safe bet. They're pancakes. Pancakes never taste horrible. I don't know what happened, girl, but these are the worst pancakes I've ever had in my life. Somehow the pancakes taste like beef fat. When I say beef fat, I mean, you know, when you're cooking a pound of ground beef on the stove, you cook it all up and then you have to strain it, right? Pour the beef fat into a little container, let it harden. It tastes like that hardened grease was just melted straight into these pancakes. I don't know how that happened, but they actually taste Disgusting. I just didn't know pancakes could stoop that low. But you know what they say, when they go low, you go high. <laughs> and I'm not gonna stay mad at you forever. I'm gonna forgive. I am gonna give the pancakes a zero out of 10, AKA they get nothing, zero doesn't exist. I don't want my breakfast to end this way on such a beefy note. So I think I'm gonna get dessert and I did see bread pudding back there. So I'm gonna go get me some bread pudding. That's kind of breakfasty, right? It's giving loaf. It's giving yeast. You guys know that I'm a bread pudding Sam, and I just had the best bread pudding I've ever had in my life. Last week at the Disney Cabin Resort Place, whatever it's called. So let's see how this compares. Oh my God. <gasps> oh my God. Bless you. Oh my God. Mm. Wow. Oh my God. I have to make a speech. I would just like to thank the loaf that sacrificed itself to be in this. Oh my God. Mm. It's gone. Hopefully the other locations have it too because I'm gonna get more later. Oh, that is not the best bread pudding that I've ever had, but it's in the top five. I'm not even joking. I'm really shocked. Golden Corral. Maybe this is just a really good location, but mo most of this food ate. And the bread pudding had such a moist texture. It, it almost had the texture of like a really wet cinnamon roll. And it was very slightly cinnamony. The icing tastes like cream cheese icing, but not too sweet. And it's so liquefied. It's incredible. It's nice and hot. That was just such an ooey gooey 
amazing bread pudding. I'm very impressed. That's a 10 out of 10. Well, breakfast was a success besides those meat cakes. <laughs> I will see you guys when it's time for lunch at a different Golden Crown location. Okay guys, it's lunch time. We are here at the second Golden Crown location. I feel like I'm covering weather for some reason. Okay guys, it's lunch time. We are here at the second Golden Crown location. It's very windy. So this is her. This is she. Look at that glorious sign. I never like to touch handles. Ugh. Cute. Let's go in. Oh, exit. Entrance. Yes. So this location had cotton candy in the front. I don't know if it was part of the buffet, but I didn't want it. I don't like cotton candy. I'm sorry, but I don't want to eat hairy sugar. Is that just me? So this is the main area of this location. I felt like it was a teeny tiny bit smaller possibly than the other location, but they still had a lot of options, tons of desserts, and they had the bread pudding guys, but I didn't get it for lunch. I did get it for dinner though, ooh, don't tell. And this time I filmed the salad and fruit location, got a good shot of those cantaloupes, the forgotten fruit that no one actually likes. The salty food seemed to be mostly like the same stuff. <laughs> I guess the Golden Corrals all have the same type of meals and that's totally fine. You know, that is to be expected. Every chain has their own menu. So it makes a lot of sense. They had the chicken, they had the taco area, they had all that good stuff. So this is my lunch. I did try to get lunchy items and then for dinner, I'll get dinnery items. <laughs> so I got nachos. I put queso, taco meat, quinto beans, and shredded cheese on them. It looks so good. I love all nachos, guys. Trashy nachos, classy nachos, all the nachos. And then I also got a burger. It's genuinely one of the heaviest burgers I have ever held. This is at least one third of a cow. Like, I'm not even joking. Then I got a slice of pizza to try. I think I've tried it, but I wanna try it again. And some fries. This is the only area that I could find that like wasn't full of people. So I'm in a nice little corner. I have it all to myself. Okay, let's first try a fry. Some fries look, they actually look quite salted. I can see like a fine dusting of salt on them. You see it? Focus. Do you see it? Hello? It's not bad. I mean, they are not amazing, but I don't think the people of Idaho would be disappointed. I think they would be like, that's a potato. That's our girl. Um focus Timmy. They don't have the best fry flavor. They taste like a really simple fry, but they are quite crispy. The salt is really coming through. Like I said, they look salted and they definitely are salted. They're not fake. They are showing who they are. I think they could be fluffier on, on the inside, but they are good enough. They are enough. Ooh, that was cringe. I'm sorry. Is it just me or did the Ken joke get a little old girlies? I'm gonna give the fries a nice 6.5 out of 10. Not bad at all, truly. Now let's try the pizza. Mm. <laughs> okay, listen, I've had much worse pizza. The pepperonis are pepperoniing. They are gouting. Hopefully I don't get it again. It kind of tastes like, kind of tastes like DiGiorno. It's not delivery. It's the gout. Like a good frozen pizza. Not fresh, but a good frozen one. And that is not a diss. There's some really good frozen pizzas out there. Um, The pepperonis are real crisp and very flavorful. The crust is pretty crispy on the bottom. It doesn't have a lot of flavor, but it has a good texture. The cheese does taste fake in the sense that you don't chew it. It just kind of dissolves in your mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna give the pizza a nice strong four buffet pizza. Six out of 10. Hello, let's try the burger. So the burger only has, ooh, it has a very grilled bun. Hello, how are you? It has a very grilled bun, look at that. And the patty looks pretty thick and very charred. And then it has cheese in there as well. I think it's American. You might be thinking, Timmy, you should add condiments. I couldn't find them. Well, this beef was cooked for 2,000 years, but it's not bad. This is like if I ordered charcoal and I wanted it well done, it would be this. But it's pretty flavorful charcoal. The beef itself, not greasy, probably because all the grease has been cooked out for years. It does have a nice charcoal flavor that I think really helps the cheap factor, I think that it makes it taste in between a frozen burger and a restaurant burger. It's like right in the middle. So it's really nice. Like I have to say that the bun is really fluffy and big and like squishy. And I love that it's toasted. That definitely elevates the flavor as well. I'm gonna have to get the burger, I think a nice six out of ten once again. So far, everything's been fine. Nothing's been gross, like the pancakes. And of course, this one tastes a lot better with condiments and toppings, but even without, it's not bad. Now let's try the nachos. So I was really creative and got to toot my own horn. 
have myself on my big manly shoulder because in the nacho section, there's only queso or queso, whatever you guys call it, and chips, right? So I got my chips and my queso and I went to the taco area and I got all the taco toppings on top as well. Call me Benjamin Franklin. Isn't he the one that made the, made the light bulb? Love that for him. Let's try it. Ooh, I love taco meat. Salty. Is this a golden corral or a golden salt cave? We don't know. Mm, mm -hmm. I like it. Mm, that's kind of giving. I think the salt's coming from the chips. They're real salted. Which is not always a bad thing. I just would prefer a little less salt because it's kind of overpowering. It's kind of drawing me out. Now the cutso tastes like any canned nacho cheese. And you guys know I love canned nacho cheese. <laughs> Who needs the fresh Velveeta stuff when you have the can? Um, the beans really aren't adding much, to be honest. Most of the flavor here is coming from the taco meat. And the taco meat's actually really good. It tastes like a homemade taco meat. Like, not the packet kind. Like, more so like someone put cumin and all these different spices onto plain ground beef. And they added, like, chopped tomatoes and things like that. I think the beans are throwing off or something. Something's off. But I'm still enjoying it. So I'm going to give my nacho creation a 5.5 out of 10. Okay. Lunch has been medium. It's really not bad. Okay, so now I'm gonna get some lunch desserts. I want like a nice little variety plate because they have so many desserts. Okay guys, so this is my dessert platter moment. So I got this banana pudding. It looks really good. I got this apple pie looking thing. I don't think that it is apple pie because there was apple pie next to it, but it's like an apple casserole cobbler looking thing. It's very flat though, interesting. And then I got this chocolate pie type thing. It looks amazing, I love chocolate pies. And I have no clue what this is, but it looks like a pretty plain cake with coconut on it. I'm ready for it. May I take it? Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's okay. Let's first try the chocolate pie. It looks the most exciting. It has a nice crust on it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh my God, that's delicious. Mm, wow, I love it. So texture wise, I don't think it's firm enough to be a pie. It's more so like chocolate pudding in a pie crust. Like it was delicious chocolate pudding in a pie crust. The pie crust had like sort of a plain shortbready type flavor, which I loved. And then the chocolate pudding itself had like a dark chocolate, not too sweet, creamy flavor. Stunning. Stunning. Very light, airy, decadent. That was so light, I could honestly eat the whole pie. Maybe I should. I mean, it's all you can eat, girl. I'm gonna give that chocolate pie an eight out of 10. If it had a more pie-ish texture, 10 out of 10, delicious. Now let's try this coconut cake looking thing. Mm. Mm. That's nice. Mm. It's giving pound cake a very light vanilla flavor and then toasted coconut on top. Very simple. Sometimes the simpler, the better. You know, I used to have hair. <laughs> so random, I'm sorry. But I used to have hair and it was big and I would do all this stuff to it and put tons of product in it. But guess what? When I started going bald and I shaved it off, I have a much more simple look, but I think I look hotter. And that is the lesson of the day. I'm gonna give the coconut cake a nice seven out of 10. Very good. Now let's try the banana pudding. It has vanilla cookies. We love that. But I've had much better banana pudding. The vanilla cookie obviously is delicious because it's like all soggy and cakey in there. We love that. But the pudding itself, there's an emptiness in terms of creaminess and decadence and even sweetness. I don't know. I feel like all it has is like a banana extract flavor and that's it. I'm gonna have to give the banana pudding a four out of 10. Okay, let's try this apple, whatever it is, the flat apple to casserole. <laughs> Get some crust and an apple right there. It's hot. Mm. I think that's apple pie. It must be. Then why were there two kinds of apple pies? We'll never know. Mm, 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 mm. The crust. That is delicious. The apple pie filling tastes like any classic apple pie filling. It's not groundbreaking, but it's good. Very nice, ooey gooey. The crust on top is what did it for me. The crust told me, girl, prepare your taste buds because they're about to witness something very flat and delicious. The crust had like a cinnamon sugar coating on it and it really added to it. And it was still slightly doughy, which I loved. It wasn't like a super crispy crust. And it just went so well with the classic apple pie filling. It was delicious. I loved it. I'm gonna give that a nice strong eight out of 10. Very good. So, you know, the salty lunch food was kind of mediocre, but the desserts pretty much slayed. So I'm very satisfied with lunch. I'm having a great day. <laughs> And I will see you guys for dinner. Oh, and also never forget to tip if you're at Golden Corral because you do pay before eating. So it might be easy to forget. Do not forget. 
Okay, so I'm at the final Golden Corral location. And this one is actually in Celebration, Florida. Let's celebrate that. <laughs> I thought of that joke on the way here. So fun fact, don't quote me on this, but I think that Disney used to own the town of Celebration. It was like a Disney park that you live in, I guess. I don't even know. I don't know if they currently own it, but that's just your little fun fact of the day from your resident Orlandoian. Look guys, it's a rat. It's Mickey. So let's be real. The third location had more of the same. The inside looked the same. The food all was the same. The vibes were the same. The odors were the same. But I still, as a professional, got some more cute shots of the food just for you guys. Okay guys, so this is my dinner. Now I got a lot of different things to try, but in like small portions so I can actually finish most of it. Besides this piece of fried chicken. This is the biggest piece of fried chicken that I've ever seen. Look at that. And it looks amazing. I got a hush puppy, some chicken and dumplings, but I just got the dumplings because I love dumplings. I got some mashed potatoes and gravy, a slice of skillet cornbread, some pulled pork with barbecue sauce, some smoked turkey with turkey gravy, and some Mexican rice. What do we think? Did I pick good? I just really tried to get some more dinnery stuff, you know? I want to keep with the vibe of the different meals. Because at the end of the day, I'm a professional, right? Thank you so much. I just got water with dinner. I did not get another soda. I'm really trying to have like one diet soda a day and then all water to balance it out. We need to be quenched. Let's first try this skillet cornbread. Hello? Look at that texture. Compose your toast. There's a coating on the top. Whatever that stuff is on a top tastes like the zero calorie spray butter. You can buy like, I can't believe it's not butter, whatever. Then what is it, girl? What a weird branding choice. I can't believe it's not butter. Girl, you're just gonna make everyone think of all the other options it could be. It tastes like that it has a very processed, strong, almost like a fake popcorn butter flavor just in a thick layer right on top. And then the cornbread underneath really doesn't have any flavor. It isn't really sweet like cornbread should be. It's just really, really bland. So all that I can taste is that. But it's who I are. Oh, I can't believe it's all blah. And it was honestly hard to push down. It was. I struggled. I'm going to have to give that a 1 out of 10. Uno, puppy. Now let's try this smoked turkey. This is very interesting because you don't see smoked turkey very often. You know? So let's see how it tastes. This tastes like Thanksgiving plus flavor. You know how like... <laughs> Most Thanksgiving turkeys really don't have any flavor. This does, but it still has that Thanksgiving vibe. Wow. Gobble, gobble. I'm shaking. Mm. I actually want seconds of that. I'm gonna say it. Golden Corral serves the best turkey I've ever had. <laughs> it has that classic turkey taste, but it's really salty. It tastes like it's been marinated in some sort of a salty brine. And the turkey gravy has a kick to it. It's smoky, it's delicious, but you know what? It doesn't taste hammy. A lot of smoked meats can taste like ham. This doesn't. It just tastes like turkey with smoke on it. That's a 10 out of 10. Amazing. To go from the cornbread to that is true whiplash. <laughs> Let's try the chicken and dumplings. Like I said, I just got the dumpling. I don't want to be rude. I don't want to be rude. I could not eat that. You guys know I'm a dumpling stan. I, I love chicken and dumplings, even if it's like canned, anything. These dumplings truly tasted like metal. Metal. It's like, I'm not eating the dumpling, I'm eating the can. I don't feel comfortable eating something that tastes like something that Iron Man would wear, even though he's a zombie. You know, I, I don't want to, I don't want to. It has the texture of a thick noodle, which is fine, but the flavor really just tastes like metal with a hint of sweetness. So metal with sugar on it. I'm gonna give the dumplings a zero out of 10 upsetting. Let's try the pulled pork with the barbecue sauce. I have faith in this because of that turkey. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. What's that for? I want more of this too. That is so scrumptious. I'm shaking. You would think that a buffet wouldn't serve good meats, but I think the Golden Corral kind of does. At least most of the meats I've had here. That tastes like full quality lean shredded smoked pork it's salty it's delicious and the barbecue sauce is perfectly sweet perfectly tangy has a nice kick to it and they go so well together honestly that was so good if i was served that at like an actual like barbecue restaurant i would think this is perfect like i like i have nothing bad to say i'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 okay pork okay turkey okay farm let's try the mexican rice you know what it tastes like yeah. Have you guys had like the Zataran microwavable 
little packs of rice. It tastes just like that. So I'm not mad at it, but I'm not like, this is amazing. It has a good amount of seasonings, but this, the seasonings even taste processed. I'm about to give the Mexican rice a three and a half out of 10. It's not great. I wouldn't get it again. Let's try the mashed potatoes and gravy. It's a brown gravy, so I hope it doesn't taste like mushrooms because we don't need fungi. You might, and I will try to accept you for that. It's hard though. The potatoes don't taste bad. They shockingly taste pretty fresh. They don't taste like powdered mashed potatoes. So I'm sure about that. They're very sour creamy, which is an interesting choice. I like that. And they have a buttery flavor, but something is off. And I can't put my finger on it, but something isn't working for me. Something doesn't taste okay. So I'm not gonna have more of that just in case, but I could see that if that weirdness was gone, it would be great sour creamy mashed potatoes. And the um, brown gravy, really doesn't have much of a flavor. It doesn't really taste like mushrooms or anything like that. It just kind of tastes like saltiness, which is not a bad thing. So mashed potatoes and gravy aren't bad. I just am a little nervous. <laughs> so we're gonna stop there. So let's try this hush puppy. If you haven't had a hush puppy, it's like a fried ball of dough. Oh, that's a crummy hush puppy, a crumb puppy. <laughs> hush puppies have a very distinct flavor. And I can never put my finger on what that is. It just tastes like a hush puppy. It's very unique. Is it onion? kind of oniony, right? I don't know. That is pretty good. It's nice and crispy and it's nice and bready on the inside. I will say it's a bit crummy, but flavor-wise it tastes like a perfect hush puppy. So I'm gonna give that a nice 7 out of 10. If it wasn't crummy, it would be a nice like 9. Let's try this big piece of fried chicken. Now, I don't want to get my hands dirty, so I'm gonna try to just use my fork. Come on. I feel like I just plunged through an eraser. Wow, this is the fried chicken. How it looks. I think this is a thigh, because it looks like dark meat. I think I've had Golden Cross fried chicken. I think I enjoyed it. Did I not? Maybe they changed the chef, changed the recipe. I did not enjoy this with a passion. The breading itself tastes fine. It tastes like any old fried chicken. Not bad, not amazing. It has just enough seasonings. It's crispy. It, it really isn't greasy. My issue is the chicken itself underneath. It's very mushy. I've never heard of a mushy chicken, have you? That chicken should get that checked out. It reminded me of a gooey frozen chicken wing, but in like a full piece of fried chicken form. I'm gonna give that a zero out of 10. Nothing, it doesn't exist. Okay, so I'm gonna go and get dessert. Okay, so I got some more turkey and some more pork. And I realized that I did try most of the desserts during lunchtime, but I am trying some pumpkin pie now. Looks amazing. And I got some more bread pudding, guys. I'm so excited, oh my God. Oh my God, yes, come on, turkey. Mm. Okay, to me focus. Let's try the pumpkin pie. Okay, there it is. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Guys, I'm not being dramatic. That is crazy. If you guys have seen Little Women, the one from like the early 2000s or like the 90s with Winona Ryder, when Beth gets that random illness and she's at the piano and she's like, I think that's so strange. I think that is what this pumpkin pie would say if it was a person. It tastes like ham soap. It tastes like potpourri. And I think I tried the pumpkin pie in the past too, and I don't think it was like this. I think the crust tastes fine. Yum. Yeah. Tastes like nothing. Yeah. But the filling itself really tastes like something from Bath and Body Works. You know, something pumpkin spice, fall seasoned. So after the pumpkin pie, a one out of 10. I'm so glad I got the bread pudding. Let's see if it tastes the same though. My Golden Crowd Day has come to an end. It has been quite the adventure. I had a lot of fun. I tried a lot of good foods, a lot of really bad foods, but I think that is the nature of buffets. There's some good things, some bad things. You have to find what you like. <laughs> and somehow me and this bread pudding found each other. I'm very grateful for that. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this video. Did you enjoy it? Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe. I'll see you next video. Bye, guys. Guys, I just walked out of there with this in my beard. Why didn't you tell me?